Hello friends and welcome to another episode. In this episode I will show you how you can summarize your data in Power Query and then after summarizing it how you can get some elements of information out of the summarized rows. Stay tuned. So the case I'm trying to describe in this video is about a very simple data set with some sales from salespeople and my goal in this video is to summarize the data by product but it's also interesting to get an idea of what salesperson made most of the sales. So the end goal of this exercise is to see unique products and the sales belonging to the products. And next to that, I wanna create some rows with the people that made most of the sales. Now you can do this in many ways and Power Query has one flexible way to do it. So this is the data set we're looking at. And to get right into it, what you can do is first to get all the unique products, we are going to summarize the product column. So you can go to home, select the column, press group by. Then we're gonna go to the advanced screen. And since we're grouping things by product, the result will be all the unique products. Then we're gonna see the sum of the column of sales, which will give us the total sales. These are the total sales of all the rows that belong to the products. And if we would do only this, then the result is the unique products and the sales of it. But now I'm curious to also put the data here of the person that made most of the sales. So if we go back to the group rows, make sure you go to the advanced tab. And out here, we're going to add an aggregation, which is the all rows one. And for those who haven't used that one, all rows means that in a separate column, you will see a table object with all the summarized rows. And this will allow you to get some information from it. And I usually call this one details. Okay, so let's take a second to see what happens. So we used to have a screen with face cream and face cream had these four rows out there. If we go to the last screen here, then you remember we click on uh, the all rows aggregation. So if we click on face cream and just next to that table object, then down here we will see a summary of all the rows that have been grouped. So these four rows were the ones that we saw earlier. Okay, now from these rows, I want to find the salesperson with the highest sales. So there's a column called sales and the sellers are right here. Now to retrieve the value here, what we can do is we can go to add columns, custom column, and we're going to write here the result of what we will do will result in a, uh, it will result in a record. And a formula I will introduce you to is the table max formula. And table max as a first argument requires you to enter a table. And in this case, we have a summarized table in the column details. So if you double click on details, it will look at that table, write a comma. And then the next part is the comparison criteria. And in our case, we're simply curious on which of the columns it has to look for the maximum. So what you can do is open your parenthesis. And as you can see in the preview, there is a column called sales. And that's the one we're looking for. Close parenthesis, press OK. And if you click next to the record, we're going to get a preview. And it'll show us that for face cream, Lisa has most of the sales. And if I click on table here, you can also see that Lisa has the one. Now, there's one last step left. If I want to put the results of, in this case, Lisa, I can click on the two arrows in the top of the record column. I deselect everything, select seller and sales and press OK. And now one thing that I still want to do is change the names up here. So we will have the top seller and the top amount of sales. And then we just delete the details column. And in those few very easy steps, you're able to manipulate your data and summarize it. But on the side, you're also able to put the rows that are the top performers. And in this way, you just get introduced to new functions that you can use under, for Power Query to do your data shaping. But there's all kinds of things that you can combine. So picking them, some of these up once every while is just going to help you with your analysis. And I will be launching more of these kind of videos on Power Query Dex and Power BI soon. So if those add value for you, make sure to subscribe below, okay? Subscribe. And for now, I'll see you next time.